uh, and now a love letter. It was written by Emily Blacher, the girlfriend of Remy Oshlik, the French photographer shot dead in Syria last year. She wrote it for the anniversary of his death and posted it online. But when we read it, we thought you'd like to hear it. The extreme danger of reporting from Syria and the deaths of foreign journalists there limit what we hear from the country. So we asked Emily Blacher to read out loud her letter to her boyfriend, who died doing his job. Oshlik, I've never found it so difficult to write. My dictionary are useless. So instead, I made a list of everything I loved about you. My angel, love. I loved it when you made list of things you wanted, and you wanted a Harley Davidson. I love it when you called me Blacher or Blacherounette, when you had something you wanted to ask me. I loved it when you talked about arts and painting and literature and I couldn't understand a thing. You taught me so much. I loved it all in the field. You would sink into the shadow making people forget you were there so you could take better pictures. I loved watching you make me coffee every morning and after eight months, it was actually good. I loved it when you said you wanted to have a boy and a girl. I loved it ever more when you passed me in front of a friend about having kids. I loved it that you decided you wanted to go to Libya, Nigeria and Burma, then Syria all within five minutes. I loved to see you blush when I told you I was crazy about you. I love it when you told me you were jealous of Eric, of Yvon, of Pierre, jealous of everyone, even Marcel, my cat. I loved it when you were scared to meet my mother. I love it when you told me I'm ugly blusher. You are blind by love. I loved it when you left your toothbrush at my house I took a picture and showed it with my girlfriends. I almost posted it on Facebook. I love it when you held me tie in the morning, then again at night, as if we had been apart for months. I loved it how you text me every five minutes to ask me to marry you. I loved it how you left me love letters in my notebooks when you came over to feed Marcel. I loved your courage, your admiration, your rigor. I'm so proud of you, my angel. I loved it when you told me, Blasher, we have our lives ahead of us. I loved to hear you tell me how everything was going to be all right when I was depressed. If only I could hear you tell me that today. I loved it the last time we saw each other. You told me that I made you happy. I could go on. I would have loved to spend my life adding to this list. Oshlik, I loved you. I hope you know up there that I was more than happy by your side. I was in bloom. With you, things were lovely, sweet and surprisingly intense. Our time together was magic. We were prepared for everything except for the worst. In Rome, you told me, love is a weakness. You were wrong. Today I feel strong. At Christmas, you gave me a notebook and told me, write down the story of our lives and read it to our kids. I promise that I will tell the story of that life we dream of so often, a life that I'm now going to have to live for too. I'm not sure if you miss me, Oshlik, but I miss you madly. But I know that you are here, inside of me, near me, near earth. Today, our nickname Blashlik makes sense. One day, I will join you, my love, but not yet. You would hate to see me give up. So I'm drying my tears and watching your favorite movies on repeat. The one that made you happy, like singing in the rain. And I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. And I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark. Up above, the sun is in my heart and I'm ready for love. My angel, take care of yourself. Take care of us.
Our thanks to Emily Blasher. The weather, uh, cloudy <coughs> across the entire UK. Sunny spells are possible almost anywhere. The producers were Tom Bigwood and Liz Homewood. Rosie Steed stood in for China Collins, who was ill with flu. You can download our programme. Uh, thank you, though, very much indeed for listening to it. The winner of our quiz, Imogen Semkin, the answer, the global search for a middle-aged couple to embark on a voyage to Mars. And we heard an 80s rock classic, Alf Garnet, and more. Thank you for listening to Broadcasting House, and goodbye.